Kyle reviewed. Like and subscribe. Hey guys, we got a video here for coming from Reddit. We got a leaked trailer for Birds of Prey. So let's check this out. It's pretty much a teaser. It's only like uh, 40 seconds long, but uh, let's just check this out and see what we have to react to. It's in a different language there, so we'll have to wait and see. Just go by the digitals. So it starts off pretty kind of interesting. You know, there's a bit of a, it obviously is very uh, reminiscent, but it's kind of hinting towards uh, it or something like that. So that's interesting, kind of setting up some stuff here. I think that's kind of an interesting idea. First when I saw this with the it that sound, I was like, it's fan made. <laughs> so there we go. We really don't get much in here. I did, here I downloaded the uh, the trailer. Um, if we check this out here, we can see there's not too much in here um, to really talk about here. Like I said, the get, getting into it, the whole it vibe at the beginning is quite is quite interesting um and having her kind of having harley quinn kind of break the fourth wall i think that was kind of re really really interesting i think that was kind of cool um so i think that'll be interesting to see if they're kind of setting that up for like the show turning into a bit bit of a deadpool character um i think that could be quite interesting so uh, if you can speak this language whatever this language they're using here let me know what you think we do have some shots of uh you know her in this new costume type thing so that's quite interesting there um I don't know, it just seems interesting, like, because in Suicide Squad, she had much more of a flashy, bright-colored costume, whereas now maybe it's just obviously the filter on here, which feels like it needs, to, it feels like this this teaser's half done a little bit, it feels like it needs a little bit more color, uh, you know, attaching, because it feels kind of plain and, like, and not popping out, whereas Suicide Squad kind of was in-your-face colorful type thing, so this doesn't feel like that, and that's one thing that they, they had to keep from Suicide Squad was the color scheme, the, 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 the colors popping out and being thrown at you in your face the whole thing that was really cool about that about that movie and you know i think that's what really sold everyone on that uh, on that trailer so they have to do that definitely with this and think well the wait and see as to where things kind of go with this stuff but um we get a few sh shots here we get maybe someone on a motorcycle pro probably black canary um then we get a shot of uh, huntress so that'd be quite cool seeing her there um what else do we got here I see her with her her bow, her crossbow, so that's pretty cool. Um, what is she shooting at? Do we see anything? No, we don't see much what she's shooting at. Don't know what that is. And then we here we get Black Canary, um, and she's kicking someone. So that's interesting costume design. Um, I guess just some henchmen or something. Uh, who knows? Uh, we'll have to wait and see. You know, obviously out of context, but person behind there looks kind of interesting very much wearing some sort of a glittery cape type thing glittery costume that could be quite fun to see as to whoever that is and then we get a shot of uh, obi-wan kenobi uh you know as black mask we get human mcgregor's black mask and stuff so that's interesting there um it'd be cool to see if we ever get to see him in, in the black mask uh or you know how he gets the name or if he ends the their smoothie you know with some sort of disfigurement where he becomes you know he burns off his face type thing and becomes an actual permanent black mask that could be interesting or what i could see him doing it something a little bit more realistic or i mean it is a harley quinn you know who knows how it's going to be um i could see him maybe he wears a black mask every now and then to to intimidate people to uh you know to just to, to like when he wants to just do things and, and separate himself feel like he's not actually you know murdering someone uh, he puts on this mask to murder someone and then he gets into a situation where he gets into an accident and this mask becomes fused to his face type thing that could be really cool um so i think you definitely can't wait to see as to where things kind of go for his black mask um we see that he's clapping uh interesting that he's wearing oh he's wearing two different gloves there so that could be something interesting uh or maybe he has something in his other hands it looks like there might be some gold there too um we see black canary singing i guess uh, which is re re reminds me a lot of the Batman Brave and the Bold when they had, I think it was a Bat uh, Black Canary, Catwoman, and uh, Zatanna were singing uh, the Brave and Bold song. There, it's on it's on uh, YouTube. You can hear that. Check it out. It's a great song from that cartoon. Um, so there we got that. What else do we have here? Not sure who this is. We'll have to wait and see. Maybe that could be. Uh, 
uh, I can't think of her. I can't think of her name, but the young Batwoman there, Batgirl type thing, uh, the one from that like mystery of the Batwoman cart, uh, animated movie they did. Probably that was it. Kate, not Kate Kane, but uh, Cassandra Kane type like that, or Cassandra Kane. That could be quite interesting. If that's her, um, who knows who that could be? But I don't know. I feel like it could be Black Mask if she's like spying on him. Uh, but this, who knows? We'll have to wait and see. Um, here we get another shot of Harley, I guess. Looks like she's in some sort of fun house. Uh, that looks kind of cool. I think that looks kind of kind of interesting there. Um, we get someone with a bat. It looks like there's oh, it's a machete. Um, so that could be interesting there. And then she has her. She's she throwing her axe. She's yeah, she's throwing her mallet. And oh, it's probably just a, a like a bunch of henchmen attacking her in this kind of like fun house type thing. Uh, or it could be some sort of weird disco. Who knows? Um, someone gets hammered in the face. <laughs> that's pretty cool. It looks like she's just, you know, just knocked out a bunch of guys. So that's kind of cool there. Um, what else do we have? They have a shot. Are they all together? It's Black Canary. Can't really tell as to who that is there. Um, and this scene is a bit too dark. I'm not sure who that is. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, but it could be quite interesting with this. Um, there's probably just a fight scene in this dark warehouse, so that could be fun there. It's hard to really tell us who's who, but I feel like Black Canary is being hidden behind this guy. I don't think that's Black Canary there, so that'll be quite fun to see is who they are. Um, what else do we have? Let me get a good shot of Harley. I think, like again, like I said, she looks kind of different with her her stuff. Like she doesn't have the 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 makeup. Uh, her hair is not colored. So I don't know. It just looks kind of toned down. We did see set photos of this one. So we'll have to wait and see as to how things kind of go. What type of filters they put on the finished product. Because like I said, this trailer feels like it's missing some filters, missing some adjustments to make the colors pop. Uh, because there's doesn't seem like there's a lot of colors even on Harley Quinn's costume. Uh, and that last costume is so popular that even though the movie, everyone hated the movie, it is by far the, the most, you know, popular costume or most successful, like the costume designer is probably the most successful, like character that I can think of that anyone's ever put in film in the recent years, just because it's been cosplayed by so many people. If you go to Comic-Con, Suicide Squad Harley Quinn is one of the most common Harley uh, costumes there so i think that's going to be quite interesting to see as to what they do for those cosplayers waiting for the next harley quinn costume and this here seems like yeah the diehards will do it just because you know the other one was so popular they'll try it just to see how things go but it just doesn't look like there's that punch from the kit from the costume that really kind of makes that a memorable costume standing out in any of these photos here but we'll have to wait and see as to how the movie kind of uh filters out and how they, they adjust to make the colors pop a little bit more because maybe once they do that they'll be able to make them get the most out of their costumes right so we'll see that um and then we get the logo um which is quite interesting there so you know birds of prey and the fantasious fabulous harley quinn type thing so that's really cool definitely can't wait to see there what else do we have anything else i think that's it and there's the date i guess whenever it comes out um, so yeah, there we go. So it's, it looks quite interesting. That's all we got there in this trailer. Let me know what you think, guys, about this in this leak trailer. Um, do you speak any of the language here? Do you know what they're saying? Uh, and if you want to check it out, I'll try and put the link in the description to the. Uh, it'll be on the this this Reddit page there. Again, you can check it out on this Reddit page. Uh, you know, Birds of Prey teaser, and it was posted by A I A M A led underscore A M A. So D C uh, D C Cinematic. You check that out. That's still here. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think, guys, about this in the comments below. I guess we should be getting, we'll probably get this now that this is out there. We'll probably be getting like an official one uh, right out pretty soon. Um, this, we might get a different one. If this one was designated for, you know, the North America might get a different trailer than, uh, you know, other parts of the world type thing. So we'll have to wait and see as to what we get out of this. Let me know what you think, guys, about this trailer in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Okay, Kyle has a YouTube channel called Kyle Reviewed. It's about Marvel and DC. I happen to know a little bit about DC since my initials are DC. All right, so if you like Kyle's uh, interviews and, and videos and reviews and everything like that, then like and subscribe. If you don't like them, well, maybe you're just not a comic book fan.